This video is brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, my name is Mike Green. I want to help you save time and money repairing your vehicle. I have 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks. My company, 1A Auto, sells high quality replacement parts over the internet. In this video I'll be showing you how to install these parts. By the end of this video, you'll know how to install them and where to get them. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be replacing a power window motor on this 2004 GMC Sierra. Basically the same as any 99 to 06 Sierra in Silverado, Yukon, Escalade, all those trucks and SUVs. For this project, you'll need a medium flat bladed screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, 7mm socket and driver, a Torx driver, small size, uh, number two actually, and a 10 millimeter socket and driver. Okay, for this, um, we're actually gonna, due to the YouTube 10 minute limit, we're gonna speed up um, a lot of our stuff. And first is the door panel. I'm gonna go through that really quick for you. Pry out the door lock button. And then you remove the mirror panel. And there's just two clips. You just use a screwdriver. I covered it in a rag so I wouldn't scratch the paint and then the door handle um, trim plate that just pries out from the back comes off like that and then there's a small uh, push pin basically a plastic push pin start it with a screw screwdriver and then I use pliers to pull it out the rest of the way uh, and there's a little tiny trim plate pull it off with your finger uh, number two Torx screw remove that quick I move real fast in this video and then there's two other bolts, one right behind the lock right there. That's a seven millimeter, remove that. And then another seven millimeter up under the uh, door pull right there. And once those are removed, then the door panel basically lifts up and out. And then you're gonna need to reach in behind. Um, that's the uh, courtesy light that I unplug there. Um, and then you need to unplug uh, the power window switch and locks and everything and actually it's also the mirror that plugs in there and this one is a little difficult it's got a little lock tab and then that little gray lever actually pivots forward this is a close-up of it and it comes out and you see me struggle with it here a little bit and then unplug it and then there's one more on that master switch and then unplug your speaker And then once the door panel is removed, now we'll remove the door handle. Um, you pry up the blue, pry that blue clip away, and then use with your fingers. The rod then pulls up and out. 10 millimeter bolt. Take that off, and then the handle slides forward and off. And now you want to remove carefully. Remove your water shield. Um, this keeps water from getting into your truck. So carefully remove it, and then put it aside so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, and then after that we're going to now we want to remove the switch panel from the door panel so there's a seven millimeter bolt that you remove under there and then you pry up and off with that panel we're going to use this to control the window um, if your window motor is broken that might not work uh, but you'll see how we use it now i did create this video with a obviously a working window motor and door uh, so humor me a little bit you're really seeing how to take everything apart and put it together um, if your window motor is not working, you're not going to be able to plug this in and move your window up and down. Um, but hopefully your window motor quit working in the up position because that's the ideal position. If not, find the two clamp bolts, which I'll show you in a second, uh, wherever they are on the door. You loosen those and then just slide the window up to the top and secure it and then you can go from there. And then the window regulator is held in by uh, six bolts. One, two, three and you can see the rail that was there one two and that bolt actually holds in your window motor okay so what I'm doing is I'm taping the window up right now I use two pieces I actually reinforce it with I think two more uh, and then I'm going through and um, speeding up the video here just taking out those 10 millimeter bolts there's again there's six of them Again, you can just see my speedy hands here, and 
Actually, that's my father working on one of his projects in the background in the nice plaid shirt. He's a little old school. Installing a radio in a 74 Granville. Basically, what you would want to do is now I, m I move the window regulator down so that you can, so the it's now free of the window. So now I'm just finishing taking the window regulator out. So again, um, right now the I'm um, unplugging the the window motor. Just has a little locking tab. And then removing the window regulator, you just kind of um, you know, spin it. I think actually, if you take the whole thing and twist it, it'll come out easier. As you can see, it's like a two rail with cables, and then that comes out. And then here you'll see you know, it's those are the three bolts that hold the power window motor to the regulator. So you'll want to loosen those bolts up, and then I'll go to the bench here and you want to hold, there's a wheel inside that black piece on top that you need to hold in place and while you pull it up off of the window motor. You can see I'm carefully holding it. So there's that wheel inside, you want to make sure that stays in place. Um, and then once that's done, then your window motor is free and you can replace that if that's what you need to replace. And then now I'm going to put it back together. I'm going to speed things up here a little bit. There's the three bolts. Put them back in. Again, YouTube only allows 10 minutes, so got to be quick on some of this stuff. And then put the regulator back in. Spin it into place. Then you you can hang up. I'll slow it down here. You actually hang the window regulator. There's a little notch, and the window regulator hangs from there. Okay. And you can start a bolt on that side. And it does hang on the other side. Tape's a little messed up old camera. But it hangs on that side too and you start a bolt over there. And then we'll go bolt it all in. And now I'm working really fast here. Again, putting those six bolts in, and you can see I'm using a uh, just a like a screwdriver handle, and if you get those in and you tighten them up basically as tight as you can with that screwdriver handle, you that's basically all you want. You know, 15 to 20 foot or not foot pounds, probably about 10 foot pounds, probably about 20 to 30 inch pounds of torque. Just tighten them up again. Let me work it a little bit. Okay, now slow it down, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna run the. Oh, yep. Obviously, plug the motor back in, then run run the window regulator back up, and just making sure that it meets the window correctly. And then I'll tighten up those two clamps that clamp onto the window. Now I'm taking the tape off, and we'll do a test. Make sure everything's going all right. I'll test, and if you see anything that looks funny, you know, run your other window up and down. Make sure that it does the same. These windows do rotate forward a little bit, so the back comes out away from the weather strip a little bit. It kind of looked funny to me the first time I did it, but then I checked my driver's side, and it was the same way. So um, after that, you reinstall your door handle and door panel and you're good to go. This video is brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. You can call us toll free 888-844-3393. We are the company that's there for you on the internet and in person. Thank you very much.